just wanted to make a swarm tier list as you can see here i completed the entire swarm uh, game mode yesterday and here's gonna be my tier list of the characters that i think are the best um i found this on tier maker uh, i'm not sure who made it but i didn't make it uh, someone else made it on the 30th so the first one i want to start off with is ribbon i think ribbon is the best one and it, hear me out she doesn't have the best damage in the game but she has the best survivability in my opinion and she has the best build variety you can build a lot of things on her and it will work of course there is a set uh, of specific abilities that are based on every character um like static shiv is pretty much a must have on every character if you want the best abilities but you're gonna get health on every character and every character wants static shiv whether you get it or not is a different story but she can build a lot of things and she is the best character at surviving and i don't you can survive Aatrox on 4 player difficulty and solo it with Riven. It's really, really hard to do that on other characters. But you can manage to do it. Survive it on a 4 player difficulty with uh, things like Yasuo with his wind wall. But it's really hard and you do have to get the right augments. You have to get armor. You have to get the Yumi armor augment and stuff like that. You don't necessarily will Riven. All you want is area size and the base armor. And that's all you should need to survive Aatrox solo. Um, the second best character is gonna be... Um, probably Yasuo in my opinion. He has the best damage in the game. And his uh, Tempest Steel skill is just absolutely broken. Max it out as soon as you can. And you will have a really easy run. He is super super bad early game. And it's really hard, but once you get going with him, he's the strongest by far in terms of damage. His survivability can be a little bit rough at times, and that's why I don't think he is as good as Riven. But he's definitely still S tier in my opinion. And oof, here we're gonna come to a lot of our champions. I think we're probably gonna want Seraphine here. Her shield, AoE shield, is really good in team play. She's not as good in solo play. But her immunity on her ult is also really good in team play. It's not as good in solo play. But I think she's a solid A tier. I think another solid A tier is gonna have to be Saya. Saya is a bit rough to get going. But she does have extreme single target damage for things like the elite and aatrox you can basically kite aatrox on extreme and kill him very easily with sire and then i frame a lot of the swords it is gonna be a little bit rougher than doing it with riven or yasuo but it's definitely not that hard i know she can easily do it uh, solo I don't know if she can solo a 4 man, I don't think she can, so she is gonna be an A tier, but she does have really good damage and you shouldn't struggle too hard on extreme A trucks with her. The next ones are gonna be a bit weird, cause I don't think there's any super bad champions here. Um, and I think all of these are pretty close to being on par. I know a lot of people are talking bad about Aurora, but I don't think she's as bad as people think. We'll get into that later. I think Jinx is gonna have to go in B tier. She has a ton of damage. The problem is a lot of the damage relies on movement speed and she's really hard to control and very easy to die on. So I wouldn't recommend playing Jinx and... I'm considering putting her in C tier actually. Um, she's just really hard to survive on, like really hard. And she requires specific arguments to really be good. On the other hand, 
Leona. We have things like Leona and Briar. Briar got me through one of the hard modes, the third map, the lab. I was really struggling with it, but Briar made it really easy. But Briar does get worse the higher difficulty scaling you go on because you can no longer heal from her skill. And the way I found to really get around this and make Briara work is get area size like Riven and tap the skill twice and you get a fat heal. And with the bit, uh, bigger area of effect if you take it, you don't have to be melee and you can pick up rain spells as well. So I actually think Briara has really good survivability and she's not as bad as people think. So I would put her in B tier. Mm, Leona is kind of weird because it feels like she has to get into a specific build with her area of effect. Elawi is pretty good damage, but this health region is a terrible mechanic, so I'm not sure about her. I think Aurora is going to go in B tier. Definitely. Um, honestly, she doesn't have a lot of damage on her skill. And her skill is very weak. But you can leave her skill at level 1. You can leave it at level 1. You don't have to level it. And all you want is ability haste. And you're gonna have around 4 second cooldown on your E. If you can get health region, or if you can get if you can get cost country with max health and you can get the reduced max health and 20% health region, it's basically impossible to die on her with her low E cooldown, because she will full heal after every hit anyway. But you are prone to getting one shot uh, by the Aatrox slam. I do find that her own skill lacks damage, but she can easily make up for it and out damage other people with good abilities. And she has really good survivability, but she is very difficult to get in the right spot. And you can die if you don't play her right. A bit of the same boat as Jinx, where Jinx is hard to control because of the high movement speed. And Aurora is kind of hard to figure out how to play without dying. Because you have to be a little bit more careful. And you have to play around your E and health region. And health region is a bad mechanic. So I want to put her in B tier. I don't think there's a D tier champion. But I am going to put Ilawi in C tier. She does a good amount of damage like her damage is great absolutely great but when it comes to bosses she falls short like she's fine at clearing the stage but the boss you have to be able to clear the boss to clear the map and i found her really rough on the boss even if you get 100 health regen a second you're not gonna survive you're still gonna die on the boss very easily you can't stand still around your tentacles and tanks so you have to run away from your tentacles and therefore her passive gets nullified and doesn't really work so she basically have a dead passive and her skills her skill doesn't do a lot of damage it spawns a tentacle that does a lot of damage which is pretty bad but her either is pretty good and her ult is pretty good but again you have to run away from the boss in most cases so you just ain't gonna get the most value out of it. So I'm gonna put her in C tier. She's by far the worst in my opinion. So Leona is a bit controversial because you have to get armor to get area size to abuse a passive. And then you have to get spells that scale with area size. The thing is, most abilities to scale with area size isn't the best abilities in the game so she's locked behind is she gonna use a passive or not if you choose to use a passive for area size you are gonna have to get abilities that are a little bit subpar 
They're not awful abilities, but they are not great either. So she are gonna be lacking a bit. Her shield is fantastic. Um, it's really good. I think she's super good at the early stages, but once you get to extremes, she kind of falls off in comparison to other characters. I will say this again, you can clear the game on every character if you know what you're doing. But some characters will be harder to clear on than others. And obviously some people are going to have a different experience. But I'm pretty sure that I have mix maxed out what are the best abilities in the game. Along with one of them being Static Shift and all the other ones being uh, the Crit abilities. I'm on a, one of them and the Ability Haste abilities. Crit, Ability Haste and Max HP, those are by three the best abilities. There is one good armor one, which is the Frost Shield, which is, uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's great at making you survive. If you get that on Aurora, with her E as well, and Health Regen, it's, it's so hard to die on her, which is why I'm actually considering putting Aurora in A tier, because she is that good. And I think Leona is a little bit slow and steady, and... I'm actually gonna put it like this. I think Leona is B tier. Early game, she's definitely higher, but in solo play, I would call her B tier. Um, I think Aurora can be A tier, as long as she get the Frost Armor and Ability Haste, and she doesn't have that many things she need on, while Leona needs a little bit more. Um, she needs less than uh, Jinx and Biara, so I definitely think she's better than those two and if we go by order here that uh, Riven is best, Yasuo is second best, Leona is definitely gonna be the best in B tier and Biara is gonna be the worst, Aurora is definitely the worst in A tier but Seraphine is definitely the best in A tier. These are a bit different from solo versus team play but Considering solo and team play, this is the overall list that I would go with. Jinx is better in team play because the issues of struggling with surviving solo is a lot higher than in team play. Because you can run around your teammates instead, but running around solo, it's a lot harder to dodge things. So this is my tier list. If you want to be looking to just clear extreme mode, I'll be looking for these characters. And as I, if you want to know the build, like on Riven, you want area size. You want area size, you want damage, you want armor, you want max HP, you want movement speed, and you want crit. The best abilities you can get is going to be the crit abilities, max HP abilities, and the armor abilities. So... The Frost Shield is really good, Static Shiv is really good, um, Bunny Bow, the Laser from the Sky, and I don't remember, there's one more crit one I think, but you know the crit ones and those are gonna be the best ones. If you can't get those, the second best option is getting Ability Haze, like the Uwu Blaster is really good. The Laser from the sides is pretty good as well, it has a lot of damage, it's just a bit awkward to use. Those are definitely the best abilities, and you can get Ability Haze, but if you get Ability Haze, I... Oof. If you get Ability Haste, you want something like Cross Country that gives you max health. And that way you can skip getting max health and get Ability Haste instead. Um, replacing max health or armor is not really a good option. I would replace the 50% flat damage one with Ability Haste instead if I had the option to replace anything. I would definitely keep the area size for Raven's Bunny Hop. Because you can reach like 100k damage with her uh, easily in, uh, in extreme in 4 player when playing her. But you are going to need the area of effect. The area of effect is definitely the best option on her. 
Yasuo, it's basically the same build, but without the area effect, you want the crit and you want projectile instead of area and effect. And this goes for a lot of the champions. These are the main core builds you're gonna want and the same abilities you're gonna want on most of these. Aurora, you build the exact same as Yasuo. Only thing is, you don't level her skill really. Um, you can up for XP in case you do get her skill evolved. It's a bit of extra damage and it's not bad. So you can up for XP. And if you don't get the skills you want, you can get Annihilator. But I think it's it's not bad. Um, but it's not great. Annihilator is a lot better in team play than solo play. But yeah, that's uh, that's everything. That is the tier list. I hope it helps you out clearing extreme. If you do need help clearing extreme, I don't mind help clearing it on Aeonautic East. Um, you can just come by my stream if I'm online or send me a friend request. Or yeah, yeah. That's everything. See ya.